It's coffee time. Almost ready. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to So Lovely with Grace. If you're new here, I'm Grace. If you're returning, welcome back. Here's a great cup of coffee in this 1948 vintage simplicity mug. This is a rare one. Look at these girls. And look at her with the bustier. I made that. I made a similar one. I made a few weeks ago the simplicity 9290. And I looked at the line drawing, let me find it here, and I go, look at the bustier. It's identical except for the straps. It has that little trim edge. Take off the straps, view B, and you got the same one on my coffee mug. So let me take a sip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got to start the videos off with coffee or I got to have my energy. Enjoy. I love this mug. I just want to show you these girls one more time. Beautiful. And then this girl with the green that I'm wearing today. That's my color today. This beautiful chalet I got at Joann's. So, we're going to talk about a new look pattern. But first, let me give a shout out. This week's shout out goes to Talisha from Creativity by T. She has a wonderful channel. A lot of you people probably already know her, but the new people, maybe not. I just want to encourage you to go to her channel and subscribe. Drop her a comment. Give her a thumbs up. She has great high energy, a lot of class, a lot of style. I love her hair and makeup, accessories. She really glams up her, her makes, and she inspires me every time I see her. And she inspired this video with this top. So the pattern I'm doing today is New Look 6656. I love what she's wearing and let me show you the line drawings because I want to show you the difference in the back. So the front, of course, I did the flutter sleeves. There's the sleeveless. It has this empire waist with gathers and the peplum and then the back is pretty dramatic. You can make it with a 22 inch invisible zipper I wonder if that shows up. Let me open it up bigger because I want you to see the whole picture. Uh, so there's the uh, back with the 22 inch zipper. You can make it sleeveless or with the flutter sleeves and make it with the opening and a seven inch invisible zipper. That's what I chose to do. So I did view A with the open back and the seven inch invisible zipper. And that's what I decided to make. So let me model it for you. I just love this top. It has this gathering here with empire waist, these flutter sleeves. Lovely. This little peplum here. And I chose the backless with this seven inch invisible zipper. It's backless here. button here. I used an elastic loop here for the button and I'm wearing a backless bra. I'm wearing a backless bra. It's really nice. I got it on Amazon. Fits great. Very comfortable. So what else is on here? You know the peplum, the gathered empire waist, the flutter sleeves, the backless design with a seven inch invisible zipper. It's a great top. You could dress it up or dress it down. I'm wearing my white jeggings again that I love. 
This time I have different shoes this week. I'm wearing these wedge sandals. Very comfortable. They give me that 70s vintage platform look. Um, so let me turn around again. I like this backless opening with the the backless bra goes down here and up. I'll put a link in it from Amazon and you can see how that is. But it's really comfortable. Um, it's just a great top. I just love this new look pattern. Talisha, you inspired me. <laughs> Talisha, Creativity by T. She made this top, like I said, and she inspired me to do it too. And I would definitely make it again. I love this fabric. It's like a chalet. I got it Joann's. The neckline is a arm is a neck binding. It's a pattern piece. So it's not bias tape. It's not a facing, but it's the neck uh, binding piece. And it's a great top. Boy, it's getting cloudy. Wow. So and the wind's picking up too. <laughs> so I hope you like this. Let me walk again. And this I caught a size 16, which is my normal woven in the big patterns, big four patterns. Normally a 14 or a 16, sometimes a 14. So this one's a 16. New look 6656 is definitely a thumbs up. I love it. I think it came out exactly like the model's wearing. And, you know, whatever you prefer the backless open or with the zipper up I plan on making the sleeveless one too and it has armhole bindings not facing and not bias tape and I didn't think it was difficult but for a beginner it might be tricky with the uh, seven inch zipper and the backless not sure but I didn't have a problem with it so let me show you a little bit more up close because outside I don't know if you can see it but there's the the zipper here and the backless with the button and hopefully that came out so we'll see now I want to show you the fabric this is it it's like a green with a sage and now I look at it it has like a crepe in it so I think it's a crepe de chine I don't think it's a rayon chalet like I said previously but it is beautiful it has a lot of drape um, I think it's perfect for this pattern. It's not sheer and it works so well. So this video is uploaded for March 15th, Friday, because I'm at the expo today and I had to pre-record this. So at the time when I recorded this video, I picked up some McCall's patterns. Actually, it was like the week before. And uh, I did a little pairing of fabric to patterns. And uh, I just want to show you. I picked up, because Nomi's on sale with McCall's, when they go on sale, they're always on sale. And I finally found Erica Bunker's Nomi pattern. What I'm interested in was that bodysuit with the bell sleeves, the lace, and she has a sew along with it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the V neckline. It looks a little low. I might do it scoop, which is more attractive on me. So i probably just going to make that adjustment. So there's the line drawings there. It's pretty straightforward. It has a crotch snap. And um, I had these Vogue fabrics that I ordered, and I had it in another video that I showed you. And I wanted to show you that. This is the pattern I wanted to use with it. This is the fabric. It's this knit sage. It has automatic shir shirring in it. A lot of people are putting shirring in fabrics, which I find very exciting. But this knit already has shirring in it. This is the right side. But when you look at the wrong side, you can see the, the shirring is, is sewn in right there. I want to make that bodysuit with it. And then for the bell sleeves, I think I showed this previously also, but I'm going to show it again here in this video. I want to use this beautiful sage scalloped. Look at the edge on this lace. How dramatic is that? I love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Imagine that as a bell sleeve with that bodysuit. Wow! So that's what I'm excited about that. This next pattern is a men's shirt pattern. M8459. It's rated as average. 
I normally make men's shirts at New Look 6197. I've mastered this one. I've made the men's shirt, the women's shirt multiple times. I know how to make it straightforward, but I had to pick this one up because it has various layouts here with different trim colors. Look at that placket and the collar. And I just like the variety in this and Tom would love it too. So I, this is rated as average and probably because of that, the different cuts, it's not straightforward front, back, buttons and sleeves. This, you know, you have all these color blockings going on. The fabrics here says Shelly Cotton Blends, Lawn and Silkies. Interesting. I didn't even notice that when I bought this, but that's fine. Whereas this pattern is more of quilting cotton. Uh, it has cotton, cotton blends, flannel, batiks, chambray. You get the idea for this one. It does say silks on that too, but I've only done it with cottons. Let me show you the line drawings for this. So there you go. Very interesting and unique. So I had to pick that one up. I just thought it was a lot of fun. The next pattern, I can't remember the YouTuber that showed this, but when they did, I was like, oh, how did I miss it? This is McCall 7600. It's a knit, but look at the color blocking on that. I like this view the best, and these are cute too. Um, let me show you the line drawings on this. It has a lot of layouts, which is really nice. You want a lot of variety when you buy patterns. And it's a Nancy Zeman. That's even better. I love Nancy. She's my inspiration. I love her. Um, so there's the line drawings there. So much you could do with this pattern. Um, so I picked it up. Let's see. This has moderate stretch knits, cotton knits, and jersey and interlock. So that's why I got it. I love working with knits. It looks like a quick and easy and why not for the summer. I want to get more tops. Like I said, last year I made a lot of dresses and this year I want to make more tops because you can wear them with jeans and shorts, capris, a skirt, and there's a lot of things you could do with tops. So I want to make more and this is one of them. And the last, well not last, I got this McCall two-piece. I've been dying for this. I love this. Another knit. This is rated as easy. I like what the model's wearing. That's why I picked it up. And I also, well, let me show you the line drawings on this first and show you the fabric I'm going to do, I think. If I can, there you go. There's the front, the back. And it's rated as easy, which is another winner. And it is a knit. It calls for stretch knits, cotton knit, French terry, sweatshirt fleece. So whatever, that's cool. I can do it. So I found this fabric at Vogue Fabrics and I thought I need a pattern for it. And I was thinking of this. Isn't that beautiful? It's a rayon knit, how interesting. And I just like the colors. It's almost identical to what she's wearing. Now, I only got two yards. And this is going to be a little more than two yards. If I can squeeze it out, I'll make that. I have to lay it out before I cut it and decide. If not, I got this new look pattern I picked up. Look at those cardigans. New look 6397. And there's no uh, notions on this, except it says here, half inch wide braid or leather trim. I'm not even sure which view. It looks like view C for the pockets, but you don't really need that. You could use any trim. And uh, if I can't get enough fabric for that two-piece, or I can over always order more, I was thinking of the cardigan. Um, so there's the line drawings for the cardigan. Look at that, how many. I don't know. I might do the sleeveless with the pockets. I really like that. Very cute. So that's my little mini pattern haul matching patterns of fabrics for McCall's. And to end this video, I want to say thank you for tuning in. I hope you like my top. I hope you enjoyed the pairings of patterns to fabric. I hope you enjoyed this video. And most of all, I hope you were so inspired.